Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mira Nam Anjali Hey. And today we're going to talk about the best time to invest in India is now. Yeah. Modi has gotten up and gave a speech. Pompeo from here has gotten up and talked about how, you know, they're invested in, in investing in India, um, how much trust we have at the U.S. in India um, at the business summit. So this is so exciting. This yeah. is what we've been talking about. This is what we want to see. Um, we want businesses to leave China and move to India as many as as possible. We think not only will it improve your economy, not only will you get a lot of these work people that need jobs, migrant workers that need jobs, this is the opportunity to open your doors. You guys have one of the largest democracies and anytime the president or the people in office talk about India, the word trust always comes along with mm -hmm. that, right? And when we talk about China, I, I haven't heard an a good word about the Chinese Communist Party come out of the president or the FBI director or anybody recently because they've been, you know, lying and the trust us. is down. There's completely. no trust there. And companies have put their businesses there. You know, there's just been one thing after the other and it's not it's it's everywhere. Um, yeah. this coronavirus, there's no resolution on that. And so it's one thing after the other with China. And but this this is a huge, huge opportunity. Um, and Modi G has already said that he's, you know, opening the doors and making it easier for companies to come in that want to move. But there needs to be some kind of incentive, I think, for them to go. Right. Yeah, definitely something that makes them want to go like some kind of trade business, like somewhere they can stay or like somewhere some land they can take or mm -hmm. something yeah. yeah yeah if you have an area where you can say here's some government land and you can build your businesses here or um you know here we have some factories that aren't being used you can use those or you know we're not going to tax the stuff as much or we can make it for the same price or there needs to be something this is business now this is not you know um you want them to be like, okay, I, I'm going to, you know, maybe lose some money, but India is going to kind of compensate me a little bit. And in the end, I will make more because people will want to buy meat in India. Yeah. You know, you might not see that dollar for dollar right away, but I think after a while, you know, India is already coming up. It's like the fifth or country economically in the world. I think by the end of this year, it should be second or third. Yeah. So, there needs to be some incentive for these companies to say, okay, we'll take some loss. India's going to recoup some of it for us or give us some land we can build on. And we want to go to a country that we trust. Yeah. Because China has over and over again shown us through the media, through the president, through everything. Lying, that we, cheating, lying, stealing. Like. Yeah. Thing after thing after thing. And this coronavirus is like the icing on the cake. So I feel like if if Modi doesn't, Jimmy doesn't jump on this, and India doesn't jump on this, you know, we already saw there's the five G. Yeah, there's not going to be another big chance like this. This is the opportunity, and other countries, I'm sure, are going to try to bargain for some of China's, you know, um, companies too. So why India? We know, you know, we love India. You yeah. know, we know we trust India, and it's a beautiful country, and it's good big. quality good quality stuff comes out of there and it's democracy but they could go to brazil or they could go to mexico why would they go to india you need to have some kind of incentive you need to give them something that they're going to say okay it's worth some loss it's worth the move we're going to go to india because in the end it's going to be the best and we think it's going to be amazing for yeah. India. If you can get these companies, Modi even talked about bringing in defense, which is what we've been saying here, manufacture the guns, the tanks, the fighter jets in India so you can make them the best. We know you have the smartest scientists, technology. Uh, yeah. 
So we know it can be done and we know it's going to be amazing. So we're going to listen to Modi's speech and a little bit of Pompeo's speech um, to give you an idea of what we've been hearing here and yeah. then we'll talk some more. Friends, the rise of India means a rise in trade opportunities mm -hmm. with a nation that you can trust. Yes. Yeah. A rise in global integration with increasing openness a rise in your competitiveness with access to a market which offers scale and a rise in your returns on investment with the availability of skilled human resources. Friends, for this vision, there are few better partners than the United States of America. Yes, India yeah. and the US. India yes. and the USA. Mm -hmm. are two vibrant democracies mm -hmm. with shared values. Exactly. And we've been saying We that. are natural mm -hmm. partners. Thus, U.S.-India friendship has scaled many heights in the past. Now, it is time yes. our partnership plays an important role in helping the world bounce back faster after the pandemic. American investors often look out for the perfect timing to enter a sector or a country. This is the time. Yeah. To them, I would like to say, there has never been a better time to invest mm -hmm. in India. So true. Thank you for having me, Myron, and hello to all my friends at the USIBC Idea Summit. It was just over a year ago, seems like a, a long time, that many of us met in Washington, right before my visit to New Delhi. That trip deepened mm -hmm. the partnership between our two countries immensely. I know you're used to hearing that we're the oldest and most populous democracies in the world. That's true. And it's important. It's important to reiterate. Mm -hmm. We share reverence for freedom, rule of law, yeah. and human rights that runs deep. And that's important. As I said in Delhi, the United States desires a new age of ambition in our relationship. We don't just interact on a bilateral basis. We see each other for what we are. Great democracies, global powers, good. and really good friends. India is one of a few trusted, like-minded countries whose leaders I call on a regular basis for counsel and collaboration on issues that span continents. I'm grateful in particular to Minister Jay Shankar for his friendship and for his sage advice. It's important. It's important yes. that democracies like ours work together especially as we see more clearly than ever the true scope challenge, the true scope of the challenge mm -hmm. posed by the Chinese Communist Party. Our infrastructure projects, our supply chains, our sovereignty, and our people's health and safety yeah. are all at risk if we get it wrong. The recent clashes initiated by the PLA are just the latest examples of the CCP's unacceptable behavior. We were deeply saddened by the deaths of 20, mm -hmm. 20 Indian service members. I'm confident that with our concerted efforts, we can protect our interests. I especially commend India's recent decision to ban 59 yeah, Chinese yeah. mobile apps, that including TikTok, awesome. that present serious when security risks for the Indian people. Yeah. And I'm happy to report that India is a rising U.S. defense and security partner in the Indo-Pacific and globally. In December, Defense Secretary Esper and I hosted the second ever 2 plus 2 dialogue with our Indian counterparts. The United States has never been more supportive of India's security. India, too, is an important partner in a key pillar of President Trump's foreign policy, multilateralism that actually works. We work closely together to make sure that the World Intellectual Property Organization election was won by someone right. who respects property rights. Mm -hmm. Seems mm -hmm. pretty basic. We've revived the so-called Quad, compi comprised of the US, India, yeah, Japan, and that's Australia. That's awesome. India is also part of a group of like-minded nations that I've convened regularly to advance shared interests. We've also invited Prime Minister Modi to the next G7, where we'll advance the Economic Prosperity Network. It's a group of countries and organizations that we consider natural partners because we share values like democracy yeah. and transparency and the rule of law. On a similar note, India has a chance to attract global supply chains away from China and reduce its reliance on Chinese companies in areas like telecommunications, yes. medical supplies. And others. Many, many others. Yeah. India is in this position because it has earned the trust of many nations around mm -hmm. the world, including the United States. We also want to work with India to advance the Blue Dot Network, 
an initiative to promote high quality, transparent infrastructure development. This effort is crucial to adopt because free markets are the best way to lift people out of poverty. Mm -hmm. India has seen that in its own recent past. That's an especially vital truth to remember today because the private sector will be indispensable in overcoming the economic damage caused by the pandemic that began in Wuhan, China. But as I said last year, to achieve these worthy goals, India will need to encourage an environment that is more open to increased trade yes. and investment. Yeah. I know that's possible because Indians and Americans share a spirit of hard work and entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. and I'm confident our partnership is only getting stronger. Let's emerge from this current challenge more resilient and innovative than before. And let's seize this moment to deepen cooperation between two of the world's greatest democracies. Thanks for having me today. Yeah. Have a wonderful rest That's of your That's awesome. Summer. That's what we want to hear. Yeah, this is amazing to see how much the U.S. actually trusts India and does mm -hmm. not trust China, as we've seen. Yes. But how many, how the democracies they've shared and how many things they've actually shared, this is the time for India to hit big and to actually take the opportunity to have these businesses come to India. Yeah. And it sounds like um, the U.S. government is all for it. Yeah, they definitely have trust fully in India. Mm -hmm. And and like you said, has been building this friendship for years. But this friendship has really grown in the last few years, I think. Yeah. Um, with the Modi G and President Trump have really brought it close together um, personally, but I think for the countries as well. And this is just amazing to hear him speak about the highest level of trust that they have in India. And so if India can roll out these red carpets and throw some beautiful flowers and give some incentives to companies to uproot from China and go to India and make what we know will be amazing, amazing products um, and, and bring in the defense and bring in all these great things. You know, the we know the 5G is coming. We know Google has gotten involved in that and um, Facebook. And so we see it starting. Um, and we know U.S. supports, you know, they're out there in the China Sea, you know, doing yeah. um, exercises together and getting, you know, the quad together to do exercises. So there, the potential is there for great, great things. And this is the opportunity to jump on it, like jump on it now. Um, because you don't know what's going to happen. China, you know, left the border, they said, but now, now they've come they're back. Come back. Like we said, they come and go. They're yep. just bullies. They're going to come and go. They're bullies who are really afraid of war because they know if they start the war, they have four enormous countries that are working together around them. And they have other Western companies that are siding with them because and they have inside the relationships too they have problems inner mongolia they have tibet they have all these other things Kong, and yeah. then the people that don't support the communist party inside of them too mm -hmm. that can't speak because there's no facebook or twitter or youtube yeah yeah so we know there's a lot of internal turmoil and we know the bullies are going to keep but here's our thing modi has that border tight we want to keep it tight and if they hit you, you hit them back, just like last time, hard. Mm -hmm. And don't let them get away with anything. But I don't think they're going to back off because they're waiting for you to back off. So don't do it. That lion needs to stand at its ground and, and keep working with these other countries, the U.S., Australia, Japan, to keep this tight quad together so yeah. that China stays in line. They know they're going to lose if they start a war. The other thing we just heard on the news was that the Chinese consulate in Texas got shut down because of um, questionable security things that have been going on in there. That's new. Yeah. That's not surprising. It's surprising that it got shut down. It's not surprising because we've been hearing from the FBI, we've been hearing from the news that the Chinese Communist Party has paid people to do um, illegal things like selling um, information. And has and been stealing information. Stealing so. information. So it, it's not surprising that that ha the reason why it happened, I'm just really surprised that it actually happened. So this is a slap in the face for China. We're waiting for the TikTok and all the apps to get banned here as well. And that we would like to see the US put some incentives in for companies to pull out of China, to yeah. either bring back to the US or, or go to India and have some incentives that way. Like if you're 
still producing out of China, we're going to triple the tax on you. But if you move to India, you get half the tax. Yeah. Something like that. We really want to see. The U.S. has been talking the talk, like Pompeo. We've but it needs Trump, to walk the walk. But we need to see them walk the walk. You know, Modi started it, but we would like to see some more action here in the U.S. So this is amazing. And support India on this Made in India. We want yeah. to see that lion tag on everything. 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 Because this is amazing. And this is the best opportunity and the best time to do it so you need to jump on it right yeah so i hope you guys like this this is exciting news and we'll see you tomorrow bye, bye.